hey 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 welcome to my channel today i'm gonna be doing a little get ready with me not really chit chat but kind of chit chat just kind of like not like a tutorial but kind of just like get ready with me so first what i'm gonna do always what you've got to do moisturize your face sunscreen your face like and your neck and your hands because like your neck ages first but like always just moisturize and stuff i'm bad at that like i really only put like moisturizer stuff on when i do my makeup to make it look like a little bit more like satisfying but um yeah i already did my eyebrows off camera because that itself is a fucking whole video that itself i'm using a different the first one was a sunscreen now i'm using a moisturizer and i don't put it i'm gonna in certain areas of my face because my face is like combination of combination skin so like in some parts it's like really oily and in some parts it's like really dry and in some parts it just likes to break out and do a whole dance you know what i mean <laughs> just trying to have a good <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start off now with my foundation. Um, this is Il Maquillage. I actually found this brand um, from Instagram. They were doing like this 14 day free trial. And I, me, I was just going to try it out for 14 days and like send it back. But I really, I really fell in love with it. Um, it's kind of like hard to like um, yeah. find a shade that matches you online. But like they give you this survey and this quiz and really it just like I think it matches very well I mean of course like it's skin like and you're like painting your skin so it's not gonna be like exact but I'm pretty here for it mm -hmm. I know it's like a medium coverage but it's buildable, definitely buildable. And I like to use a brush. And then I kind of just like go over it with a beauty blender. Just for that um, nice finish. Yeah, don't put a lot on my forehead just because like, I don't know why, but every time I put like foundation or like anything on my forehead, and like I don't even break out that much on my forehead, but it just always looks so like clumpy and stuff. It just doesn't affect you. Okay, now I'm gonna take my beauty blender, damp beauty blender. I cannot literally like, I'd never really like use beauty blenders, but I think it's because I never wet them. So I was just so confused. I'm like, what is this even doing? And I feel like they take so much product with them. Okay. Alrighty. Now what I'm going to do is highlight. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. And my color is light medium sand. Don't know if it's really my color, but hey. That's what I use. And I learned this little trick. This is for me because, like, to me, my nose is, like, really big. Like, especially from the sides. Like, it's wide. So, I take my, um, concealer. And I, like, kind of bring it down right here. I don't put it on my forehead. Um, like just some lines right here. I don't put it on my forehead because I don't feel like my forehead is neither big nor small. But um, so I just don't put it on there because I don't feel like it needs any attention with that, you know. I look like a hot mess right now but you know they always have that like phase in makeup where it's just like I know like sometimes like when I would go get my makeup done there was just that phase where it's like oh my god what is she doing she cannot do makeup who gave her a license then at the end you look good and then you walk out and then you're like damn let me fix this that's me but like I'm saying like 
makeup has its phases. Now, this is definitely not my color, so I just really, I blend this. I gotta blend this. But this is the Born This Way um, Conceal Contour Highlight Retouch. Um, this is the shade Mocha. Um, I know this is not even supposed to be my contour shade. Um, but I just let the girl um, shade match me, and this is what she got from it, so... This is what I've been using. You kind of just gotta like look like, kind of like make that face and then see where you go from there. Cause like, I feel like contouring is like a big deal because it could just like make or break you. And blending that contour is a big deal as well. Something like I overly do with contour is definitely the nose. I'm just all for that ish. You don't know why I just put it up knowing I just said that. And then I just take this, um, this came out a little like, um, mm, a little contour thing I actually got, but it was like for powder. But I like to use, like I said, I like to use brushes. And I put this on my forehead just because, like, it does, like, darken me up. And, like, you know what irritates me? How, like, Kim Kardashian came out with that body line and people are like, ooh, white girls want to be black, this and that. But it's just, like, I don't think, like, that's not the case. Like, when I'm pale, like, I just, it, I have no life. Like, I have no... It, like it does something like it just some people just look good tan like I'm one of them a lot of people can't pull off the pasty look and for the people that can you go Glen Coco I'm literally such a mess but you know it all just comes together Okay, then I take, again, a brush, and, um, go like that, and as you can see, like, it starts to get, like, because my nose is wide, so it kind of, like, when I draw on, it kind of, like, goes with the shape, and I just need to let that little puppy know that, like, we're not doing that. Like, we're going in and put some under here. And a little under your lip to make it look like you got that mmm juicy. See, right now, I just look really, um, discolored. Y'all, you know, don't ask me what brushes I'm using, because half of these, I don't even know how I got them. You want to ask me what brushes? See, I really debated for a long time if I, um wanted to even do YouTube videos because like I used to really want to but then everyone just started doing them and I just felt like it wasn't that special anymore if you did YouTube videos but I mean I've always had this channel like I used to post I deleted them but just like me being stupid but hey people thought it was funny and that's what I was there for you know what I never do? This. I haven't done my makeup in like three weeks. So I'm kind of like all out of whack on like what even are the steps. 
So this is from Avon, but it's not really just from Avon. Like I mix a bunch of powders together because I started running out. <laughs> And though I don't like put the cream um, highlight concealer on my forehead, I do put powder just to kind of like give it a little pizzazz. Mm. Okay, sorry, I had a phone call. So what did we just do? We just did the powder. Now we're gonna do the powder um, contour. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chisel to Perfection Palette. I got this for my birthday from a friend, actually. Shout out to you, Ron. Um, and with this, I kind of just go over and define. Oof. Define the um, contour, yeah. Um, and blend it out because I don't, I don't like to look harsh. I mean, who does? I feel, I feel bad. Like sometimes, like I've seen people that like their foundation just stopped right here, and like you just, yeah. And like nobody tells them. And I just don't want to be that person. So I just try to think, you know, what would someone say? Yeah. All right, next step, blush. I don't even know what blush this is, but I love this blush. It's such a pretty color. And I used to never wear blush, but like, curl from. It does something to you. It is. And I don't just put it right here. I put it like a little bit on my forehead, my chin. Just to kind of like brighten the mood. All right. Next is Spritz. This is the um, Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. So like I said, I'm very oily. Well, like, usually when I wear makeup, I get oily because I usually, like, go have fun. So we just spray a bunch of that until it feels like you... Ew. Just went underwater. I touched my face. Okay, now I'm taking this highlight. This is just, like, an Ulta palette. But, girl, the only thing I use, I don't use any of these. This highlight right here, just watch. Just let it speak for itself. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Give me my money. Um, And another thing that a lot of people don't do that I do, I bring my highlight, like, down because I've learned that, like, when you take pictures, like, yeah, you can see it right here, but, like, if you're taking a straight face, like, you can't see it if you just put it up here. So, like, I kind of, I just go ham, honestly. That's the only way to put it. I just go crazy, go stupid. Um, I love the texture it brings to my freaking skin. <laughs> I put it under the brow bone, down the nose, and up here to kind of, like, where my arch is, kind of like in front of that, from the arch and a little bit in front, I put it just to like, I don't know, it brings some action to the face. And then on my lip. Oh, girl. Next, um, we are just about finished, boys and girls. I take this. Um... I highly recommend anybody that is looking into um, lash extensions to get them. Um, I had them for quite a while. Absolutely love them. My skin got so clear because like you wake up feeling beautiful. Like you don't you 
don't have to put on makeup. Um, this, I don't really use this that often, but this right here, it's, um, Lancome, but this stuff here, put it on the top, this really extends your lashes, and then come back, like, The volume, the shape, the everything before and after. Yes, please. Give it to me. Oh, what am I even doing right now with my life? Just trying to go ham. Um, and as for eyeshadow, I don't do it. I'm not the best, and I never really was. Um, the more and more that I look back at my life. Um... My friend is amazing at eyeshadow. She does all the crazy shit stuff. But, you know, it's just not in my cup. It's in, mm, mm, mm. Where are you going? Wait, I was going to do something else. Oh, yeah. So, like I was saying, I don't really do eyeshadow. So, what? Well, this is what I do for eyeshadow. Um, this is a Smashbox. This is really old. Um, just a, yeah. And, see, these three are the only ones I use. And I'll take this lighter brown and a little bit of that darker brown. And I kind of just, like, go in the crease. Again, just to give it some dimension and make it look like I kind of tried. When, in reality, I didn't. Okay. Um... That is the face all complete. We just need some. So, straightening my hair is what I'm going to do. Ready? Straight hair. Don't care. This is something that I get asked literally all the time. Is my lip co lip combo. If y'all don't know what Avon is, um, I don't really know what to say. Google it. But this um, is from Avon. It's called Marvelous Mocha. Um, I just love this color. Like, this color and me are just, like, have been through it all and will never leave each other. But what I do is I take, like, a little brush. And I just kind of... Oh, my God. Was there eyeliner on there? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's not the color. <laughs> Ew. Okay. We're just gonna roll with the freaking punches. Alright, partner. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't get asked about this. I promise you. I will get asked about the do you have on your lips okay so I usually use that in mocha and then I take this um, it's from soap and glory the sexy mother pucker um, it's a gloss but it's also like a little tingly gloss a plumper and then and just what it does mm. Can't get enough. Alrighty. Well, that is about it. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this or if you want to see anything else, um, anything, just comment below. Let me know your opinions. Hate, no hate. Y'all still watching. Um, and that's about it. Follow me on my Instagram, which is Maddie Como, M A D Y C O M E A U X. And um, my Twitter, which is Madeline underscore Como, M A D E L Y N. I don't really know anything else. That's it. Thank you for watching.